Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It is Dylan and I am back again with yet another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. And today, we, I am going to do a second installment, a second version, a second rendition, whatever you want to call it, of the intelligent flight mode known as Waypoints. Now, why am I doing a second video? I'm doing a second video, another Waypoint video, because now I have a screen recording or a screen capturing device thanks to ios 11 as i am using an iphone 7 plus so anyways let's just get right to it to do waypoints the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, want to have your drone launched up in the air and on the far left we're in video mode on the far left you see the three y icons bottom one hit the remote that takes us to intelligent flight modes so we're looking for waypoints so let's scroll over to the second page and in the bottom left, you will see waypoints. Now we're going to click on that. Now, as you can see on the right, we have a title waypoints. We have a pretty little graphic and it says select an existing route or record a new one. And so since I don't have any missions saved in the bottom right corner, we're gonna click new mission. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to set a waypoint and a waypoint for those of you that don't know is just a location or a spot um somewhere up in the air so let's fly this way just a little bit and let's say that we want to start our mission right here and let's say that we're at 100 feet we're facing this way and we want that to be our first waypoint so we're going to in the bottom on the bottom right of the screen you see done to the left of that you see record we're going to click record now you'll notice under waypoints up there at the top it says one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh I'm going to go I'm going to go this way I'm gonna fly this way and I'm also if you'll watch my altitude starting right now I'm going to raise an altitude to about 250 feet roughly 250 feet let's see how close we can get All right that'll work 255 and I'm going to fly a little bit further this way and I am going to stop right there and I'm going to hit record again now I'm going to face back this way and we're actually going to drop an altitude a little bit to about oh let's go to about a hundred and fifty feet and let's see let's go to about right here and let's click record again now we have three waypoints and let's do one more to where we had let's go clear up to about 400 uh, feet in altitude as you'll notice at the bottom to the right of the h which stands for height we are increasing altitude and we're going to go up like i said to roughly 400 or a little bit under so we'll uh, make sure that we can stay there and uh, make the FAA happy because you're supposed to fly under 400 feet. So there we go. And let's go ahead and let's take the drone a little bit further before we record that last one. Let's just call it good right about... Oh, right about there. Now we're going to hit record. Now, as you can see, we have four waypoints for a total distance of 3,754 3, feet. So now what we're going to do in the bottom right and blue, you will see done. Now you can see it says fly the aircraft to the start point. So you could actually hit apply or you can do this manually before you hit apply. And as you can see, we have head to adjustable heading, which basically is the way that your drone um is looking as it's flying so that means adjustable that means we'll be able to adjust that heading as the drone is flying itself adjusting to those altitudes and all that good stuff in between those four waypoints and let's see uh, let's take it down in altitude we were roughly right over in this area right over here is where we started it don't have to be perfect and just get close but you can see our distance it's showing that we're getting pretty close to our uh, start point but i'm just gonna drop it down to about 225 feet and call it good and uh then under that you'll see mission complete and that means when the mission's complete let's click on it see what option we have hover or return to home i'm just gonna let it hover uh when it's done and then you see your speed 
we'll go ahead and set to about 12, but you can adjust the speed, I believe, as, as it's doing its thing. So down in the bottom right corner, we're gonna click apply, and you can set your return to home altitude. So I'm gonna change that to about, I don't know, 55 meters in case something goes wrong. We want the drone to, I'm gonna change it to 60. We wanna be plenty high to where uh, the drone can uh, come, on, come home without hitting anything. And then um, we are going to click apply. So it's updating the waypoints. And as you can see now, it is heading to the very first point. So there it goes, it's adjusting itself. And now guys, I am rolling the gimbal. I'm changing the pitch and angle of the camera. So you can do that as you're flying. And right now it's still lowering because we started off at about 100 feet, I believe. There it goes. So we can click hide here in the bottom right. And as you can see, I, I guess you guys can't see, my thumbs are off the sticks. I'm not touching it. And it's flying on its own, headed towards that waypoint. But now my thumb is on the left stick and I changed my heading just a little bit. And so, uh, again, you can change, you can hit your wheel on the top left and you can change your, uh, you can change your pitch or direction of your uh, camera. And if at any point you want to go back and change the speed or do something else, you can click down in the lower right corner. You'll see the waypoint icon and it'll bring this up. Now I'll say, oh, let's get this thing done. Let's hurry up. Now we're going to 22.4 miles per hour and the drone is speeding up. So I, I will toggle to this map. And as you can see, it shows what our route's going to look like. And it even gives us a handy dandy shows you where the drone's at, which way it's facing. It shows you the distance in between each waypoint. So our longest stretch is between three and four. And it's about halfway between two and three right now. So that's really cool stuff. So you can see where it's at in its uh, in totality as far as its mission goes. Let's toggle back to this screen. As you can see, there it is getting close to the football field. It's lowering down in altitude. And there it is hit waypoint three. Now it is going to turn its heading and it is going to start making its way towards uh, waypoint four so very cool stuff this is a really neat way to uh, if you have something going on like say you know you're gonna film around a parade or something or a building or just something that you don't you want a really smooth shot you can set this up uh, if you know the route or you know what's going on you can set this up and then you can just say hey save this and uh, load it up later and then it's just hands-free flying so as you can see it's making its way to waypoint four let's toggle the mode again and see where we're at as you can see it's getting close to uh, waypoint four so there you can see our uh, our entire uh, map there and now it's done so what it should do is it should just hover should tell us there it goes arrived at endpoint so see there it is it's just hovering but anyways guys um i really appreciate you guys uh, checking out the video again i just wanted to do another one because um i have a screen recording device so you could actually i had a lot of people that were disappointed uh in not being able to see uh this the uh my phone screen in the previous uh videos when i didn't have a uh you know screen recording device so anyways this makes a big difference and I'm going to have a lot more DJI Mavic Pro tutorials uh, upcoming, especially since I have a screen recording device. I want to do them all over so you guys can really see what's going on. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button. And as always, please be sure to subscribe. This is Dylan. Have a good day.